It's a question that members of Congress and the Obama administration are asking these days. And Bloomberg's Peter Cook is live in Washington with more on the industry's response. Peter. Margaret, I'm joined now by the wireless industry's top lobbyist here in Washington, former Oklahoma Congressman Steve Largent, who is the president and CEO of CTIA, the Wireless Association. He also happens to be an NFL Hall of Famer from a previous life. Uh, good to see you. Thanks for joining us Thank you. here on Bloomberg. Uh, let me ask you about uh, what's been going on in Washington with your industry. The fact that you have the administration members of Congress even asking the question, is the wireless industry competitive enough, does that trouble you? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, and I and I look forward to an open and honest uh, debate about that. And I don't I, I don't think it'll be a debate that take much time. Uh, our our industry is hyper competitive, uh, and we have been for the six years that I've been at this association. And we're really proud of that. I think because of the competitive nature of this industry, we've continued to offer uh, better and better service at lower prices uh, for our customers. And and I think that is the bottom line of a competitive industry. Ninety percent of the market controlled by four companies. Some would look at that just at the surface and say question whether or not that's truly a competitive playing field. Well, all I would do is point to the rest of the world. Uh, there's no country in the rest of the world that has a, as a competitive industry as we do, uh, based upon the percent of uh, customers that our, our carriers have. Uh, we have four large carriers that uh, none of them have more than 30, 35 percent of the market. Uh, so, you know, it, there's no other country in the world that can say that, that they have four carriers. And that's just the four large carriers. I mean, we have uh, uh, other carriers, uh, you know, from, from Leap and U.S. Sailor and, and all these other companies uh, that are out there. We have over 100 carriers in this country. So uh, to say that we're not competitive is, is really laughable. And so we look forward to having uh, that conversation with the FCC or Congress or whoever it might be. Uh, whoever it might be. Uh, someone may be on that list. We're not sure exactly. Is the Department of Justice Senator Cole, key player on these issues, mm -hmm. on competition issues in Congress, asked the DOJ to take a closer look at, at the industry. Do you know if the DOJ has actually begun an investigation? Uh, no, I'm not aware of any investigation that they've uh, begun, but we'd welcome it, as I said. Uh, we're, we're not afraid to, uh, to to display how competitive this industry is. And all you have to do is look at the prices that uh, customers are offered today. I mean, our, our prices in the wireless industry have continued to decline in the six years that I've been at the, the, the association. Uh, so we are competitive, and, and uh, it, it is uh, uh, a very exciting field for me to be in because I come from a competitive background. Uh, I, I played in the NFL, as you mentioned, and, and so I know what competition's about, and it, it, it is, uh, this is a hyper-competitive industry. Let me ask you about one sub-issue that, that's come up, and that is handset exclusivity, mm -hmm. the, the idea of AT&T being the only uh, seller, for example, of the iPhone. Is it fair for Americans in parts of the country who'd like to get an iPhone but can't because they just don't have AT&T in their service? Well, you know, that's a conversation that's taking place right now between our smaller carriers and our larger carriers, and it's not something that we, we really can get involved in as an association because of antitrust reasons. Uh, but I think that some of our carriers have made some uh, good initial steps. Uh, uh, Verizon just talked about uh, sharing all of their uh, handsets with our Tier 3 carriers after a six-month uh, period of time. Uh, so, you know, I think, I think that that issue is resolving itself within the industry uh, and, and doesn't really need a look by the government. Uh, so, how, how much, and, and how that's, much that's harm what, would be done if the government did step in here and say, listen, you can't do that anymore? Well, I, I think... I I think it could do a great deal of harm uh, if, if the government comes in and says and mandates that every carrier has to have every handset. Uh, th there is a lot of time and effort that goes into unrolling uh, a handset with a, with a given carrier. And uh, I, I think it would really complicate uh, the competitiveness of this industry. It would, that the competitiveness would decline. We have over 630 handsets in this country, uh, more than any country in the world. Uh, and part of that is because our, our carriers have the ability to do these exclusive one-off deals. Uh, but again, you know, it's an issue that we, we have to um, uh, be aware of, and we are as an industry, and there's a lot of conversations that are going on between our third, uh, our Tier 3 carriers and our Tier 1 carriers and Tier 2 carriers uh, to try to resolve it within the industry and, and not uh, call on Congress or the FCC to, to do anything. What about issues on the government side of the ledger? The spectrum, you yeah. talk about the competitive playing field, is there enough airways out there for everyone? Well, I, I think that's, that's a real concern 
concern that we have as an industry. Uh, there's been two auctions that have occurred in the last three years, and, and that's given the industry uh, additional spectrum so that we can roll out 2G and 3G, and now we're evolving into 4G, uh, the fourth generation of our wireless technology. Uh, but we're concerned about in the future because there's nothing in the pipeline right now. Uh, so having a, uh, a spectrum uh, allocation bill, reallocation bill, uh, that identifies available spectrum for the next auction, we think is a good thing and gets us halfway there. And so we're, we're moving down that path. Quick football question. Who's going to win the Super Bowl this year? Is it the Seahawks? Uh, <laughs> I hope it's the Seahawks. But uh, actually, with my best friend coaching the Redskins, I'm kind of a Redskin fan now. Well, as a native Washingtonian, we'll uh, appreciate that. Uh, Steve Largent, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it very much. Uh, Margo, we'll send it back to you, New York. All right. Thank you so much, Peter Cook, live from Washington.